It says fake vaccines are liquid gold in the pandemic. Crime wave worth billions. It says as governments rush to vaccinate their citizens against COVID-19, organized crime groups are seeking to exploit weakness in the global vaccine supply chain, fueling a parallel pandemic of crime that has generated billions of dollars in legal profits, according to the Interpol, the global police agency that has spent over a year monitoring and seeking to combat the criminal group behind these schemes. This is reported by Times Magazine. So now we got to worry about what? Fake vaccines that's out there. I knew there was a matter of time before this was going to come. Black market type it says, um, I've never seen, this is what's reported. They say they've never seen such a dynamic situation before when they were asked about the scale of profits that were earned from these crimes. And this is said by Julian Stock, the general secretary of Interpol, the global police agency that has spent over a year monitoring this. Jurgen Stock, who is the general secretary of the agency, said he's never seen anything like it such a dynamic situation like this, right? The scale of the profits are enormous. They're in the billions from selling fake vaccines and black market vaccines. The profit that these off-market people are making from scamming people. So now you got to start worrying about fake vaccines. It says some of the newest scams that Interpol have tracked across the 194 member countries are seeking to profit from the global rollout of the vaccine against COVID-19. Either they are stealing the real vaccines and trying to sell them or marketing fake vaccines that could prove dangerous to the public. So they're even stealing the real ones, which a lot of these vaccines, like if you steal, let's say anything like the Moderna or the damn Pfizer vaccine, these things got to be stored at a certain degree and they got to be kept refrigerated. And you know, if a criminal steals it, they're not going to store it correctly. Criminals are not going to go to the, uh, oh yeah, let me go ahead and spend some money on actually storing it correctly so we can help people. Criminals are going to do the opposite of hell. They don't give a damn if they cure you or not when they shove this shit in your arm. They don't give a damn if you die or your kids die. They just give a damn if they're going to get paid. And they're already, this is a, this is an industry now with these fake vaccines that are, that is in the billions. It says last week, the agency has revealed the first confirmed case of fake vaccines being trafficked across continents. In that instance, an organization group in China had filled ampules with saline solution before smuggling them into South Africa. <laughs> so they're from China all the way to South Africa, where they were meant to be sold as COVID-19 vaccines, according to the local police and Interpol agents. More than 80 people were arrested mostly in China for participating in that scheme, which involved at least 2,400 doses of fake vaccines, the police said. At the start of the pandemic, criminal groups focused on the trade in counterfeit masks, disinfectants, and COVID-19 testing kits. But they are now turning their attention to the black market for vaccines. The liquid gold of 2021 is the vaccine. It says the victims of this trade could range from individuals buying on the black markets uh, to government agencies responsible for securing supplies. Criminals will exploit any weak link in the supply chain to legitimate vaccines. The weakest links are likely to be in developing countries, which may lack the healthcare infrastructure to distribute the vaccine securely. So basically now you have to worry about fake vaccines. So far, it doesn't seem like they have hit our country yet, but um, what they are saying basically is that this is turning into a problem and it's starting to be worldwide. It, doesn't, it hasn't reported that it's this, but it's in like 180 something countries already. And I wouldn't be surprised if it ain't close because everything winds up going on the black market. You always have counterfeit every damn thing. So now you have to run the risk of worrying about if you even get in a legitimate vaccine. And they're not only giving it to people and individuals on the street who's getting suckered into this, they're also giving it to damn governments are getting suckered into buying fake vaccines. Right. And again, that was reported by Times. Welcome to Politics as Usual. Anticipation for the new information. Ready to get some damn information. I'm gonna have to cut this part out my um when I do my videos. I'm supposed to be professional. I'm, I'm trying not to be a newscaster. If I'm gonna do this, I can't be whatever news station you know you go and just gonna be real with you. Sitting on some bubbly, you know, got a tie loose. You feel me? You did. We're gonna keep it real here at Politics as Usual. Super, super, super chat. Super, super chat. Super or we just like to give information. When you're talking about something that's actually a substance, something that's going to be intellectually stimulating, something that's going to be needed to save your life, your children's life, something that may benefit your family, like the information I'm about to share with you, people don't tend to like that. And you know, sometimes it's okay to let your head down and have fun. That's all.
all you want to do all day, every day, man. Right? There's many different layers to it. So, you know, sometimes, like last night, if I came to the stream, we had a ball, right? Portal was, and we may have it, who know, randomly, because, you know, I like to do that. People say, I help make them laugh, I help make them feel good, I help make them forget about things. And there's so much going on in the news in the world. So, I like doing that too. Um, but, you know, you can't fool, you can't have foolery all the time. We have some of the wildest, craziest news stories from around the country, and there's just so much information. The benefit you're having me not being a damn robotic news anchor that you see on TV or one of these other dumbass YouTube shows is that you know you're going to get the truth, you're going to get it raw, you're going to get it authentic, you're going to get it real, as if me and you would just sit down at the crib. We're going to have a conversation of some important shit. Right, we're going to actually have us a conversation on some things that may make a difference in not only our lives, our children's lives, but our families' lives, our friends' lives, and the people we come in contact with. Because let me tell you something, there's nothing like being informed. It's a liberating feeling, right? Having the proper information at the right time when you need it. Like having the proper information about a pandemic that's going on. Having the proper information about vaccines that's going on. Having the proper information about stimulus checks and money that you might actually get or be entitled to that's going to make a major difference in your life. That's going to make a tangible difference in your life. If you have the proper information to use these tools, the sky's the limit. Think about your whole life, how it's been. You walk around with lack of information. You walk around with lack of knowledge. You don't know something about something. Then you find out a year later, six months later, a week later, or days later, that damn, I can't believe that. What? I just was there. Or I just was here. Or I just had an opportunity to, to get this or do that or have this success, right? Because information is a game changer. Information is everything. It may not be everything or none of this information might not be everything on every given day or any given basis, but information is key and it is every, it's the most important thing in the world when the time arises where it's going to be useful. So having the proper and the adequate information when the time arises that you need it is crucial. There's nothing more important than to me in my life. I just can't see. I can't think of nothing. I can't fan of not no college. Nothing is more important than just having the proper information. It's about no good. If some arises, you don't have the information needed for the situation. That is life is situation. The majority of your life is going to be living it in, you know, the world and politics and your kids and your family and, and these things. So anyway, all that being said is that this is what this sh politics as usual is about. It's about us chilling. It's about us talking together. It's about us relaxing. But it's also about us getting something of substance and getting something of importance. So when these life situations arise, when somebody asks you something, or somebody try to tell you something, you can be informed. You can say, hey, hold on. Let me let me go to the information I got and let me talk, let me think about what I know. That might be the difference between your child dying or living. It might be a difference between you in a successful position or failure. It might be a difference between the roof over your head of you being homeless. So I thought that I'll start doing these type of shows where we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about life, we're gonna laugh, we're gonna joke. Some of the I'm gonna tell y'all it's gonna be life changing when the time arises and it can be put to use.